investigation into Milwaukee police shooting a man who they say opened fire in a police station lobby and ran yesterday afternoon continues tonight. Seven involved officers are on administrative duty, which is standard protocol. Madeline O'Neill is live at District 5 with more on how the scene unfolded. Well, certainly a quieter scene here tonight than last night, but I'll show you the station uh, District 5 here still taped off after what happened yesterday. We asked police for an update on the suspect's condition and when we might expect a name or charges, but Milwaukee police weren't able to get back to us with an update and neither could West Allis police, which is taking the lead on this outside investigation. It was so many of them. It was like they was the army. Where police and emergency lights filled the streets, only a few signs of what happened in this neighborhood yesterday remain. Oof, that was scary. For some living close by District 5, their whole world looks different. He just keep looking out the windows, kind of scared still. Tiriana Edwards' six-year-old son was in the car with her when they arrived home yesterday afternoon. I can't believe we actually witnessed a shootout. Still shaken by what they heard and saw. I seen he had a gun, so I told him, like, get, I told my son, get back in the car. Sirens followed a man running near her home. She believes he's the same man accused of shooting inside the District 5 police station before running away. We looked right at each other. I'm like, oh my God, dude, is that a gun? Is this really happening? Yes, that was scary. She and her son were able to hide inside their home, along with other family members and her baby. And I told them they was having a shootout right in the field next door, so y'all need to get down. They didn't see what happened next, but they heard. The first gunshots went off right here. Catching up with the accused shooter a couple blocks away from the station. Milwaukee police say multiple officers shot at him, hitting him more than once, sending him to the hospital, though police say he's expected to survive. Right next to my house, though, that was the most scariest. Memories of what she saw and heard still feel close, too. I was just terrified. When we heard from Milwaukee's police chief, he wasn't able to say if there's any connection between the shooting here yesterday and the in custody death of 20 year old Keyshawn Thomas here at District 5 on Wednesday. Live in Milwaukee, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. Madeline, thank you.